Well, it's a cold night in Seattle, but at the very least, the roof will be shut to shield us from some of that. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Kansas City Royals and the Seattle Mariners. Here's Leonis Martin. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Mariners. Yeah. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike Leonis. one. Harold Martin. Reynolds, we look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, it's always nice to win the first game on the road, and, and then you get ready for game two. It just makes you feel like, hey, this could be a pretty productive road trip. If you win two games in a row, then you're really knowing we got a chance to have a great trip. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. With a moment here in Seattle, a look at the Mariners' starting lineup. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? Well, you come in and you realize, man, we're already down two. What do you do? You play within yourself. We get a leadoff guy on. The next man moves him up or moves him over. Then our middle guys, maybe we hit a big bop to get in it. You don't have to go get two runs this inning. Just get one. Keep chipping away and giving yourself a chance. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some third. damage. So third when you strike baseman. both of them Still out, Kyle. you're putting yourself Singer. in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Settling in now, Robinson Cano. And he's hoping to get things second turned around run. here in April, entering Robinson. play with an average Cano. down in the 220s. Well, you see there on the graphic, the double was his third of the season here in this first month. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost. Uh, and he runs out of gas between bases. They tag him. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He went hitless last Winning night in the game hand. where his guys could push across right. only right one score. Nelson and here is strike Cruz. one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing and one. Where's the first now? Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0-2. And, and he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Royals. Six. And I'm looking down there at That's Brandon Belt. You know, this guy has Brandon really solidified Curry. himself in the middle of the Giants' order. You weren't sure how he was going to hit, but one thing you did know, he was going to be able to defend. 21. And that defense is one of the best in the league because of Brandon Belt. Nope. No exactly. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. A fastball that guys. finds the outside corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit back toward the mound. There is Escobar. Throw gets him. Two down. Into the box. Dan Vogelback. Hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Vogelback. First offering on its way. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. The wind up and the 0 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 2. And he just misses with a curveball. Ready on 1 and 2. Slider stayed too low. Ball 2. He went with the off speed there once he got him done. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Some of our nation's young minds in future. Taylor Motter steps into the box. Off, he the did not play last night, right, but clearly time. back in the starting nine for this one. And Mother. a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Well, Matt, we've watched him struggle early, but you always talk about in-game adjustments. Right here, he jumps on the first pitch. They look more aggressive. They look like they've changed their whole game plan to come out now and start firing on all cylinders. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. 0-2 oh, count. Here's the pitch. 
Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0-2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layoff. So he got him swinging. Kurt Suzuki is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Stepping in now, Leonis Martin. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He went down swinging to start the home first. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at 1-1. One one. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right it, side. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Next Eddie for Rosario. Over for one Taylor. here in the early going. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Fouled straight back. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Three innings complete. The Royals are on top, two to nothing. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Leading off Kyle the Seager. It was a double Third, for him in his left. first turn at the plate. Kyle. Takes Seager. a look at one catching the outside corner. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. Hey, no out here. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, that's off. And he misses there, 1-2. and two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. He'll try again, 1-2. And the shift will not go, amount to go. much here as this is lifted it, in the it. air out to right field. Sanchez retreats to the outfield grass and he has it for round number one. Cano I'm waits on the first pitch. Now a ball sprayed foul into the seats near third. Pitch on the way. Oh, and two now as Cano comes up empty on that one. Well, Matt, he's been struggling and they're coming right after him. He finds himself once again in an 0 2 count. Ready with another 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. Right he's up over one in inning up to this Nelson point. Cruz. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Wall, wall, wall. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Brandon Drury will bat next. He'll start things out here in the home Leading fifth, the and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Now batting. First baseman. Ready for another chance? Dan Vogelback comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Well, they're still in this game. You know, if they can get somebody on a broken bat, a blooper, a bunt, and then go for the big ball, they can get something going. But you've got to start with getting ball. somebody on base. This offense needs a base runner and get things happening. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Hit out towards second. And that'll find its way into center Ain't field no for a one out hit. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit column. This is now a good batting. jump start for him. Taylor hey. Mutter hey. comes hey. on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Oh, he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. From the belt, the pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays ball. off one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Digging in for his second at bat, Kurt Suzuki. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two down here. 0 and 1, here it comes. Now here's a ball skied down the left field line. Revere is under it. And that retires the side. Mariners leave one still down three nothing.
ready once again Leonis Martin and at this point Leading of the game I think Mariner. it's clear that the plan of attack Center against fielder. the top of the order Leonis. has worked Martin. well when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game hey, we got no you know you're doing something right Matt you're spot on whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully up the middle and oh he's able to knock it down but he is able to recover as he gets the out at first one away now. And now that Royals bullpen will get busy as we see both the southpaw and a right-hander get loose. Eddie Rosario is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and two. Boy, that was filthy right there. That was a great indicator of how well he's throwing the ball. He's going nice in the game, but that pitch was filthy. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Another 2 2 offering. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. One down, one down. Set to deal on 2 and 2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. Third it's not easy 15. to make a guy strike Kyle out five Seager. times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Kyle Seeger is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Action in that KC pen now as a right hander's begun to loosen up. A little tapper. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. They here comes the second baseman, Robinson Leading Cano. The They'll start things out here in the second bottom baseman. of inning number seven. Robinson and that's in there Cano. for strike one. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason hey, why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Here's Nelson Cruz now. No hits in two right trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Nelson and a fastball misses hey, here to one. start the at bat. It's one and zero. Oh. In for a strike. It's one and one. All right, come on now. One and one. Here it comes. Way in front of a great slider that time. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Brendan Drury is in for the third time now as he takes a ball outside. It's 1-0. and and this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Two and two count. Here it comes. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Hey, we got two down. Now two down. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Gordon on the move. I got it. I got it. And the inning is over. Two, three, go the Mariners. Joaquin please. Soria now is on to pitch Kansas out of the City. bullpen in the bottom Number half of the eighth. Joaquin. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. And tonight's ends as a 3 nothing shutout win. Number 41 earns win number four on the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Felix Hernandez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Kelvin Herrera closes the door for the save, his Our ninth of the year. Tonight. So that'll put First, a wrap on things Victoria's here this evening. For my part
a coach acknowledges a pitcher on his recent spree of strikeouts. He's on a torrid pace. They'll see if he can keep it up.